Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. So in this video, I'll show you how you can identify velvet shanks, Flamelina velutipes, a very common edible mushroom in the winter. You'll mostly find it on deciduous tree stumps, especially elm. So you want, what you want to do is look after a frost in winter and look around on the floor for any elm leaves. And then around there, look for deadwood, and then you're much more likely to find velvet shank mushrooms. They'll often grow in quite large, dense clusters and uh, I'll find them usually between December and February although you can find them later into the year if you have a cold spring. Uh, you'll often find them also they'll be frozen when you pick them and unlike other mushrooms they're okay to pick frozen they don't go mushy after you've defrosted them. The cap of the mushrooms grow up to about 10 centimeters across. They're convex when they're younger and then flatten out with age. They're a nice vibrant golden orangey yellow colour and they go darker towards the centre. They're very smooth and they're often quite slimy especially when they're wet. The easiest way to identify velvet shanks probably by the stems. So they're quite light at the top, like a similar colour to the cap, and they get darker as they go down, and they get velvety as well. And on more mature specimens, like this one here, the stems are almost completely black. So the, the stems are quite tough and fibrous, I don't normally eat them, I normally just take the cap. A very important thing to note with velvet shanks is that the stem don't have a ring on them because the funeral bell, Gallerina marginata, that will have a ring on it. So it's very important to learn the funeral bell mushroom if you're going to be picking these ones to eat. The gills of very young velvet shanks are off-white as they mature, they'll go a pale yellow. And the gills are adnexed, which means that they, they are attached to the stem, but very narrowly. The gills are not crowded, and you get gills of different length. So some of them will reach all the way to the stem, and others will not. When collecting velvet shanks, you do need to be aware of sulfur tufts. They're a very common poisonous mushroom. They're fairly similar looking to velvet shanks and they also grow in quite large clusters. Uh, but the cap is a less vibrant color than the velvet shank. And the gills, instead of being either white or pale yellow and olive green. As I said before, if you're foraging velvet shanks, you uh, really have to learn how to identify the funeral bell mushroom, Gallerina marginata. The main difference being the, the caps aren't as uh, vibrant a color. And most importantly on the stems, velvet shanks have no skirt whereas the funeral bell, we either have a skirt or the remnants of a skirt where the cap used to attach to the stem. Mm -hmm. 